how to create a black and white pattern in Affinity Designer. Well, there's probably a number of ways, but I'm going to use a rectangle. So I'm just going to go over here to the rectangle tool in the tools panel. And I'm going to set design here, top corner, all the way over to the bottom corner. Now the documents, a standard HD document size. And so I'm just going to go for here, the transform pattern. Very, very useful because what you can do, you can just enter the value with it selected. That is the layer selected, set it to zero and then go over there and set it to 1920. And that's the size of the document. Also, the Y, set that to zero, and then go to the value there, 1080. And then you've got it. So it's all covered that entire document. Once you've done that, what you can do, the width, just go to the width there, and just say divide by two. So divide by two, you can enter sort of divisions, etc. in this. So divide by two, and then you've got that divided nicely right in the center. Of course, there's lots of other ways of doing that as well. So once you've done that, what you can do, you can export it. So file and go to export. And I'm just going to go with PNG format. You can see 1920, 1080 there. And I'm going to go for the whole document and export. So export, and I'm going to call it 2.png. So 2.png. Now I'm going to go to a fresh document. Any, any size of document, doesn't matter. Maybe the same size. So once you've done that, what you need to do is you can't just create a layer and then use that design. What you can do is you can create a shape and use that design. Seems very odd, but the gradient tool, for some weird reason, works with the shape in a proper way. With a standard layer, it doesn't. There must be some logic to it, but anyway. So I'm just going to click, select any shape, maybe an ellipse. So go to the tools panel, an ellipse, create that design there. And you can see obviously it's filled with gray there, but you can fill it with a gradient. So you can go over here to the gradient tool, select the gradient tool, and then drag across. And that will create a linear gradient. Well, I don't want a linear gradient. What I want is a bitmap. So bitmap there, go for that option. With bitmap, select the 2.png you just created. You can see black and white there. Click open, and you can see it now filling that design. And you can move it around. But what you can also do is you can resize it. You can resize it like that and just drag that in, move it out, drag it in. It's all interactive. And we'll obviously do that as well if you want that side. And you can rotate it around, you can resize. And there's other options as well. So you've got here wrap, mirror, repeat, and so on. Whatever you want, but I think mirror is just as fine. And you can resize it your heart's content. Very, very narrow. Now you can also hold down the shift so it goes at 45 degrees or 90, which you may prefer. So once you've got that, you've got your bitmap design, nice black and white parallel lines. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.